Hey everyone, I have the incredible opportunity to be a patron at this year's LA Comic Con. This is my home comic book and pop culture convention, and it took place this weekend at the Los Angeles Convention Center in downtown LA. So it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from me. I'm really happy to see how this convention has grown over the past 11 or 12 years, I think. The convention has gone through a host of rebranding from Kamikaze Expo to Stanley's Kamikaze Expo to Stanley's LA Comic Con to the current name LA Comic Con, shortened to LACC, with apologies to Los Angeles City College. I remember going to the first LA Comic Con when it was called Kamikaze. I remember everything taking place in the main exhibit hall, which is the South Exhibit Hall. The vendors, meetups, and panels all took place in the hall. They even have curtains and dividers to close off the panels from the vendors. Uh, my memory is really faint, but what I do know is that it was well attended. Fast forward to 2022 and LA Comic Con has grown. It's taken almost all of the LA Convention Center, which is a really huge facility with several exhibit halls. And all of these were full of vendors, displays, photo ops, and, and gaming. Some panels did take place in the exhibit halls, uh, but they really stood out and the setup, the audio were all really top notch. So I guess my first question is, who saw Dragon Ball Superhero? Yeah, you guys see it, Superhero, wasn't it amazing? Wasn't it, it was just so amazing. Amazing movie, so I've actually got a question for Sonny. So Sonny, I feel like sometimes Krillin may be a little bit overlooked, but in the movie, I felt like he was a driving force for Android NT18 when she sort of took charge. I've gone to every San Diego Comic Con since 2008. And I'll tell you what, LA Comic Con is slowly getting there. It doesn't have the huge floor fixtures and fan experience like San Diego Comic Con, but honestly, no other con will have those. But Loungefly had a little something there, and that's a good start. I could see LA Comic Con growing year by year and hopefully some of the major film or television studios may make special announcements or debut a trailer sometime in the future. But what makes LA Comic Con great is that it's really focused on the family, and this is something I noticed this past weekend. San Diego Comic Con can get a little snooty and exclusive, and this is probably due to the onslaught of Hollywood industry people that frequent Comic Con because it's part of their job. Or there's also people that just want to go there and do these industry exclusive parties and stuff like that. I mean, how many times have I heard some big Hollywood player having a loud conversation at Hilton Bayside or the Grand Manchester? I get it. You need Nicolas Cage and Eric Estrada for your next Greenlight project. Fund it. We don't really get these types at LA Comic Con. It's fans, collectors, gamers, nerds, geeks, role players, and cosplayers. Speaking of which, here are some great cosplays that I witnessed. Overall, LA Comic Con is really great at what it is. It may grow further in the near future and become something known worldwide and become, how would I say, Uber Hollywood. But for what it is now, it is really for families and fans and I hope, and honestly, I hope it stays that way. 
And that's it. Um, I hope at least one person enjoyed this video. There are a lot of cons coming up in 2023, and I hope to see you all there. Take care, and as always, please be kind to the cosplayers. <laughs>